Hello everyone and welcome to the topic of 4G, 5G interworking. In this we are going to discuss about 4G and 5G interworking. So why we require interworking? If 5G cells are not deployed with full coverage, a seamless service can be provided to users. Uh, why? Because we have to interwork with the existing LT network. For this interworking, RAN level interworking, that means radio access network level interworking and core network level interworking are in 3GPP discussion. So this interworking it provides the interworking service between the LT and 5G which uses a direct interface between this E node B and the 5G node B. The control protocol which is known as RRC this message is transmitted over the LT radio interface so the connection and mobility of the users are controlled by E node B. User traffic is basically simultaneously transmitted through the LTE node B and 5G node B or by using the 5G node B only. So in uh, RAN level interworking, it is necessary non-standalone where the 5G radio cannot be used without the LTE radio. So LTE and 5G interworking can be achieved by upgrading some of the LTE node Bs which are connected to 5G node Bs and also by increasing the gateway capacity in the vault packet code. The new 5G core network can be introduced to support the RAN level interworking in this. Core network level interworking. It does not require a direct interface but EPC entity is connected to 5G core entity. The UE manages the LT and radio new radio interface connection independently and they can be connected to a single network like LT or 5G. When the UE is located in 5G coverage, it can only connect with the 5G network and it can receive the 5G service. In case when the UE moves out of the 5G coverage area, it releases the new radio interface connection and establish radio LT radio interface connection. This interworking is necessary in standalone where NR can be used without the LT radio. For core network level interworking, the single registration solution and dual registration solution are possible. What happens in single? The UE registered with either LT or 5G at any moment and the UE context can be delivered through the control interface between MME and AMF. In order we require to support this single registration solution, MME will be upgraded so that it can support MME AMF interface and serving gateway needs to be connected to the user plane function in 5G code. This happens in single registration. If we talk about dual registration, it is a way to allow UE to register individually. Here we can register individually to EPC and 5G code and interface is not required. The movement between the LT and 5G is decided by the UE and here in this case the UE performed normal access procedure after moving to another network. Thank you.